The Adams drive shaft extreme duty front 1310 solid CV drive shaft with flange is for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 JK that are looking to replace your front drive shaft because you need one that's longer or stronger or your factory one is worn out and as you may know that isn't going to be completely serviceable for you so swapping it out with one like this will allow you to service it in the future. This is going to be a nice easy one out of three wrench installation especially because Adams does include this flange that you need on the transfer case side of the drive shaft. So you have everything you need to get this installed. Very easy install and we'll talk you through it in just a second. So like I said, the factory drive shaft on the front of your JK is not going to be serviceable. So whether you didn't install an exhaust spacer and you melted the boot and that caused a problem or the U-joint itself started to wear out or whatever the case may be, if you need a replacement, this is going to be a very nice choice for you. This is very strong, very beefy. It's going to be longer. It's going to support up to six inches of lift. It is still going to be a CV or constant velocity drive shaft. That's going to be on this end here where you have a centering ball and you have two different U-joints um, here. You're also going to have your U-joint uh, down on this side as well. All of these U-joints are the non-serviceable type, so they're not going to be greasable, which is actually going to be a good thing if you're looking for strength because the U-joints aren't drilled through the center for the grease passages, so these U-joints are actually going to be a little bit stronger. So the U-joint itself isn't going to be serviceable, however, the drive shaft is serviceable because you have your normal style clips that will allow you to remove the U-joints and pop new ones in should you ever need to do so. That's the part that your factory drive shaft doesn't allow you to do if you wanted to remove the factory U-joint and service that factory drive shaft, you actually have to drill out or mill out the, uh, the clips that hold that drive shaft into place because it's not designed to be removed. So this is going to provide you with a ton of strength, some additional length. It is going to allow you to swap out the U-joints if you need to. You shouldn't need to because these are really designed to last a very, very long time. They're sealed, they're not greasable. Um, the centering ball itself is greasable, however, which is a good thing. And then you have another Zerk fitting down here and that's going to allow you to uh, put some grease in the drive shaft so that as it opens and closes or gets longer and shorter as the suspension travels, you're gonna be able to grease these splines here. So a ton of strength here, really high quality piece. This is really the go-to drive shaft if you're looking for a new front drive shaft for your JK. It's very affordably priced, very, very strong. Speaking of the price, this comes in at right around $500, which I think is a very good deal for the quality that you're going to get. So I mentioned before, it's gonna be a pretty easy installation for you. Now I'll show you how to do it. Tools required for this installation are going to be a half inch, three eighths and quarter inch drive, various extensions. This is an eight millimeter socket. This is actually a 12.516 socket, 15 and a one inch and five sixteenth socket, followed up by a flathead screwdriver, pry bar, and a soft rubber mallet. Optional is going to be this air ratchet and impact and I strongly suggest using this Loctite. All right, to uninstall our front drive shaft for our Jeep JK, to start off, I have an eight millimeter socket on the end of my quarter inch drive, and I'm going to remove all the bolts holding in our drive shaft to our transfer case itself. So let's start removing these bolts. All right, so I have my air ratchet, my quarter inch air ratchet. I'm just going to start removing all these bolts. And you can see that there is a little horseshoe holding both of them in place like that. All right, now we're gonna be removing the four 15 millimeter bolts holding the front of the drive shaft into our differential. Now I can just grab a wheel here, spin it, and that'll move my flange. You can see there's a little thread lock in there. We are gonna be reusing this hardware, so keep this to the side. All right, so with all of our bolts removed, out of our drive shaft front and rear flange. You can see that the only thing holding our drive shaft into the output shaft of our transfer case is a little bit of pressure and some tight clearances. I'm going to take a soft rubber mallet and just hit this part of the drive shaft here in hopes that I can get a little bit of clearance 
and then I can get a pry bar and separate it the rest of the way. Let's go ahead and hit it. There we go. Just saw it open up a little bit here. Squeeze my pry bar in there. All right, and there we go. You can see that that's free, and now we're gonna move to the front here. All right, so to get this drive shaft out the rest of the way, I am going to put a hand back here on the shaft that we just took off. And then I'm going to use a pry bar and just pry this shaft, which it looks like it's already broken free. Compress the shaft a little bit, and there we go. She's gonna come out. And there is your old stock drive shaft. All right, now we're going to take an inch and 5 16 socket here. And we're going to remove the nut holding this flange onto the output shaft of our transfer case. All right, make sure you hold onto this nut too. We are going to reuse it. All right, so we have to remove this flange from our transfer case. And what I have here, again, is my soft rubber mallet. I'm just going to hit all around the corners and try to open up a little spot for my flathead screwdriver so I can get between the flange and the transfer case itself. And then we can open it up even more. All right, so now we're gonna give this a couple more wax. And you can see, if you hit it in the right spot, it will come right out. And then also inside of here is a large O-ring. We're gonna keep that as well. All right, so what we're gonna do now is bring our new flange up, insert our O-ring first, make sure that's nice and seated in there. So that's the way you want your O-ring seated on your new flange. And we're just going to make sure our splines slip right in and follow that up with our factory inch and 5 16 nut. I'm just gonna get a couple of these threads started here and then finish it off with that socket. Make sure my socket can still get in there, and it does. And you're gonna wanna make sure this is nice and tight. All right, and that'll do it. So before we start bolting our new Adams drive shaft, drive shaft up to our Jeep, I wanna talk about a little bit about thread locker. Now, Adam's drive shaft does include this little packet of red thread locker. Now, I'm not going to put it on because we are going to take this drive shaft right back out and return it to stock, but I highly recommend that you do use this or use the thread locker or Loctite that you're used to at home because this is a spinning, moving, vibrating part. So let's get that drive shaft in. All right, so with our flange installed, now we're going to bring in our new drive shaft. I'm going to connect the output shaft of our transfer case first. I'm gonna make sure that this U-joint sits into that new flange just right. Just like that. Now I'm going to start our new hardware. Spin this a little bit so I can get that other side in. And I'm gonna spin another 180 and start that other side. All right, you will notice that the head of this is a 12 point that's a 12.5 Let's start to tighten this up now. All right, you're gonna make sure that these are tight all the way around. Now we're gonna move on to the front. All right, what we're gonna do now is attach the front of our drive shaft to our front differential. And I'm just going to start my stock factory hardware with a few threads first. Again, there is some blue Loctite left on here, but I recommend freshening that up just a little bit. There's two of four, there's the third, and the fourth one on top. This is a 15 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and tighten all these up. I'm gonna go in a cross pattern.
Hey guys, that's gonna wrap up my install of the Adams drive shaft, extreme duty front drive shaft for your Jeep JK. And for all things Wrangler, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com.